In this video, I'll show you how to create WooCommerce wholesale pricing in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WooSuite wholesale plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. And here we are in our WordPress dashboard. So I've already installed and activated the WooSuite wholesale plugin. And this is my main dashboard. So we can see a few quick stats like um, new customers this month, pending wholesale application, pending quotes, um, the total revenue by a different user role. So here I've got, um, I've enabled our wholesale customers and distributor user role. Here we can go ahead and filter it here. Okay, but to set up our wholesale pricing, we'll navigate to where it says wholesale pricing here. Okay, and on this global option, we'll go ahead and enable the different user roles so we can quickly add um, a new user role. Since I'm using a pro version, I'm going to disable the WooSuite branding. I'm going to enable this option to only show wholesale prices to wholesale customers. So this way, it will disable the default retail prices, which are shown by default. So we can bulk export our products into a CSV format and then use a program like Microsoft Excel to bulk edit our prices. And then once we're done, we can go ahead and bulk import it back as well. So since I've set up my user role and I've enabled these options here, let's navigate to the storefront and let's go ahead and edit a particular product. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this um, product here, which is tiered pricing. Okay, so on this product here, you can see we've got a tiered pricing setup. So this tiered pricing is not to be confused with volume-based pricing, right? So for example, when it's tiered pricing, let's say for example, we purchase 10 um, units, then the first five units will be for this price and then the remaining five will be for this price because it's in this tiered, right? Whereas if it was volume-based pricing, we would get all 10 units for this price. So the difference, but many um, plugin authors get confused over this difference. So let's go ahead and edit this product. And I should note as well that tiered-based pricing functionality is created by our discounts rules plugin. But with regards to our wholesale pricing, we'd go ahead and specify that here. So here we've got the regular retail price and then we can go ahead and specify our wholesale pricing. Okay, so we can say for wholesale customers, they can get it for $100, for example, right? And then we can add different rules as well. If I go ahead and click add new rule, we can do the same and specify a different user group and then add the price there as well. We can create different prices for different user groups. As soon as I showed you um, the tiered based pricing, let's go ahead and click this pricing discount rules and I'll show you exactly how we've set that up. So here we get to specify the user role or a specific user. Here I've selected admin so I could see the price and our wholesale customer as well. We've got an option to enable this offer only to first time buyers. And then for the processing mode, we've selected um, tiered based pricing. So we can select bulk for volume based pricing or tiered based pricing. Okay, we've also got an option to enter in a special offer such as um, buy one, get one free or buy two for X amount. So we'd use the special offer for that there. Okay, then we can go ahead and schedule this particular offer. And then here we get to add our different um, tiers, our different quantity breaks. Okay, so we just click this plus icon to add a new quantity break. And then for the minimum amount, for example, here it says from one to five, we'll give a fixed discount of this price here, right? I'm just gonna click this minus button to delete that um, tier there. So we can choose from a price discount, a percentage-based discount, or just a fixed price discount. Okay, and then you just add as many different tiers as you want. If you wanted to target, um, let's say for example, in my case, we've got our wholesale customers and then we've got our distributors. If we wanted to, let's say, show a different price in tier to our distributors, we can go ahead and duplicate this, right? And then we'll select, we'll remove admin and wholesalers, and then we'll just hit distributors here. And then here we can just adjust the price accordingly. So typically our users just bulk um, export these pricing rules, edit it, and then re-upload it. And that's how you create a WooCommerce wholesale pricing in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.